Yeah, the lights are great. Yeah. Nice. I, I forgot what that look is this. called, but it's in a film where it's like with women. You were supposed to do it like direct and it had this little butterfly. I think it was called like the butterfly lighting or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know there's all I kinds of ways. I don't know. That was just a thing. You're a regular James Lipton. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, somebody recognizes. Your director of genius? Or I guess that would be more of I would a, like I would like to try directing event like eventually. eventually? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it, the best way to be a director now is to have grown up with a trust fund and gone yeah, to yeah, film school, that. right? Yeah, I don't you have need that. a lot of money to get into it. Yeah, that's true. Directing. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. That's that, that's like an end goal to become M. Night, whatever, Shyamalan. Right. Well, right. this is, uh, there's no entry in a stand up comedy, right? So, oh, yeah. Exactly. It's a good way to get in. Because yeah, if you can prove yourself here, then yeah, somebody will give you money to. Yeah. Produce At least a sketches. Movie. True. Like, I'm, a, I'm like, I don't need to do like a fucking. Movie, really, but no sketches. Definitely would be my fun. own comedy special. I definitely want to direct that or you well, know, yeah. when you edit, right? You, you want to have control of it, right? Yeah, to an extent. Oh, right. And you do need it. You still need to know some of this stuff. To what if somebody to, approached you out of nowhere and was like, "I want to record your first thing, but you have no say in any of it. I just want to record you do your live hour or however long you do." Yeah, but we're gonna edit it and release it however the fuck we want. You have no say. Like the old school way. Right. right. And you, were, you do a whole hour, you kill, theater I'd, full of people, high production value, and then they release it on Stormfront. I'd be tempted. I'd would definitely you, be. They release yeah. it on a Nazi forum <laughs> on 4chan. Would you, date, would you still take the deal? But you wouldn't know full that. Full crowd? No, you There's a full crowd it. there? Are they oh, Nazis? Yeah, no, no, they're not Nazis. <laughs> okay. They don't even know that they're going to be in the website. Yeah. Okay, no. Then, so yeah. it's sort of like a massive Jamie Kennedy prank. Yeah, just getting started. Everyone's getting next, including okay. the comic. I mean... Still a little tempted. I'm, yeah, I'm right. ready. I might. Would you not? I would no. do it if they paid me. It depends like, on yeah. the pay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, somebody offered you, mm. what, $10,000 to record a special. And then it would only get to be shown to Nazis. I mean, if it's a good special, it will leak out eventually, and right. the Jews will like it. Right, the you Nazis know. will be like, you know who we should share this with? Yeah. yeah. The Jews. Jews. They probably won't, yeah. yeah. I guess the Jews would be the last ones to know. Yeah. Even though they who are Nazis know. friends with? No one? Yeah. <laughs> Other Nazis? Other Nazis? I, yeah. I don't know. Well, I always wondered how the relations between Nazis and KKK people were. You know, like, yeah. would, the, are they, yeah, are they the, empathetic to each other? Or? That's Probably. Like the same thing, right? Yeah, because like, uh, you'll see KKK yeah, people not have of. the Nazi flag yeah. in, along with their, like, I, mean, I think a lot of those people. Along with their calipers people. that measure the skull yeah, shape right. of a person. Right. I still believe that, to be honest. You believe phrenology? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's a hot take. Yeah, yeah. yeah the only Indian you. who believes in phrenology. I just thought about it, so yeah. I have decided to... Right. Yeah. Well, you have I a... I mean, uh, girls can believe in astrology. Why can't I believe in... Phrenology? <laughs> I'm just... It's true. You, you can die on that hill. Yeah. You can definitely... No, I'm, I'm, you know what? I, you guys are right. <laughs> you go to a girl, I'm changing like, my I, mind. I believe in criminal skull shapes in African yeah. Americans. She's like, you're such a Pisces. No, not... Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I don't know that. I don't Actually, know that I'm a Gemini. Actually, are you a Gemini? Yeah, yeah. I'm too, buddy. I know. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I should, I'm a Cancer. So we nice. Know, I nice. think the whole scene. I think all that, three of us. I think all three. Oh, 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 come on! <laughs> he just called me an emotional little bitch. On a, on, on, and on. I'm I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. We all are yeah. pieces of shit. Yeah. 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 Gemini's do normally fall into that. Yeah, now you believe in that? We were just talking about. No, phenomenal. I was just going to say the only reason we're having this conversation is because we've all at one point fucked a girl with bipolar. Sure, uh, sure. And so we like it's, they're it's hot true. enough. We're like, yeah, I'll pretend to believe this for the next two years. Yeah, yeah. until yeah. I get fed up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, technically there are five people in this room. So you get so, fed up yeah. and or. Uh, the cops are called. Right? That's true. That's that's the thing that happens that is in those relationships. Those girls. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever had an STD scare? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, like, what not you recently, but pretty like, much every in, time, in, in right? It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> going in wrong. Uh, no, I mean in college, just yeah, I hooked up with a, a, a chick, and she told me after the fact. What did uh, she say she had? Uh, it was the HPV or fucking uh-huh. what? That. I mean, you can't even get you tested really for that. Yeah, as dudes, mm-hmm. I don't think we. I mean, I went and had a test and everything after that, and I yeah. you said you're clean of everything. So I was like, yeah. cool. all right. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I don't think dudes we can get it. It's one of those weird ones where like, not sure about that. I'm we pretty, can get it, but, I, but it's, it's not yeah. as a. It's, it's not, not a, symptomatic, right? In men, right. Yeah. So, 
Uh, I don't think that's the right word, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, there's, there's no... It's like the Zika virus. It fucks women over more. Really? It's a sexist disease. Didn't COVID yeah. do that too, technically? No. It actually, COVID affects COVID men, men okay. more. Yeah, and minorities. And then, yes. And COVID minorities. is fucking over the minorities. minorities. Again. Yeah, dude. It, it really is. It's a, yeah. from, well, the vitamin D thing, uh-huh. I think, is because it... We were talking about that. Yeah. We were just I, talking we were about doing that. that. Well, I tried to... Uh, who was it? It was a... You know, Marcus, the comedian? Yes. Yeah. You know Marcus, that guy, the black comedian. Dude. Garvey, Marcus Garvey. No, not Garvey. Oh, uh, the other one. I know the Marcus. other Marcus. He's fucking. Okay. He was here for a minute, um, but basically he's all over the place. He's in Atlanta. He's right. in Arizona. He travels. And he's he's you know really a road comic. I, when all this started happening, I mentioned the vitamin D thing to him, and like basically he went on me for being racist <laughs> to an extent for but, recommending a supplement for because rec- I was I was trying to explain and which I shouldn't have tried to explain it, but I was trying to explain the reason why if you're uh, you know black or Hispanic, um, especially if you live in a place that's not you know hot and not full sun, yeah. you would probably want a supplement because all the studies show that like people who live in those climates now. Who yeah, evolved that's, that's in these other true. climates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't get near enough vitamin. That's D, why right? you guys are so white because you guys were so yeah. far north where it was a lot. Yeah, you know, that's why polar bears are are, are white. Polar. Yeah, I mean yeah. the same thing. So like, anyways, I, mean, I was just trying to mention that. Like, hey, take some right. vitamin D because that sounds like to be the thing, right? Or a thing. Yeah, and they kind of got sideways on it. I was like, ah, oh, that's a weird that's take a- for him to get upset about. Well, you never Wait, know with social telling- media. You know, but were you just telling the black community to take, like, in general? <laughs> well, or were you just saying to him, hey, you should take? I don't remember exactly how I worded it, Word. honestly. Yeah, you're like, hey, I black people, I got yeah. three words for you. G-C. Vitamin D. Yeah, oh, they're okay. like, what does the N stand for? And then you're in an argument. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, I'm just saying this is how social media people get yeah. very uptight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I didn't yeah. expect from Marcus, but, like, uh, you know, yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, because the vitamin D thing seems to matter. And it does. sadly, because... Yeah, yeah. The numbers are coming out. Those Wait, we were kind of arguing or, or not all right, we're discussing about how much, do you know how much vitamin D you're supposed to take? I take 5,000 of the IUCGs yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever the fuck. Do you do it yeah, twice a day or once, once a day? Oh, okay. okay. I was told to do it twice a day. Oh, yeah, 5,000? Twice so a day. You were saying 10,000 completely. Right, because right? I got a pill that, that's 10,000 one pill, so now I just take one a day. Yeah. But at first I was doing what you were doing with the 5,000, yeah. and I was doing one in the morning, one at night. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was taking 400, where it was just the tiniest one, and then yeah. now I'm just taking two, two 1,000. I was like, I, you know, I thought 400 was enough, to How be honest. How much vitamin D is taking one heroin? pill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> more vitamin H, but, oh, really? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't think Different you vitamin. Do yeah, I, don't uh, I, I don't know. I, I doubt it's something you can overdose on. I mean, I guess you take too much something. Something weird is going to happen in your body if you are taking too much, but I can't yeah. imagine it being. No, but it's pretty hard to OD on, or, you know, oh, like. Vitamins. Uh, well, that too. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> Going back to the heroin stuff, but now depressed no. eight year old, yeah, yeah. Just can't get whole stuff, man. exactly, dude. I mean, that's what's crazy about like Tylenol and stuff, like because uh, they maxed it out where it's like if you take more than you know how it says don't take more than that, yeah. you take like just a couple pills, you can OD. Yeah. They have a, there are oh, a ton oh, of yeah, people a lot of those uh, antihistamines like will really fuck your liver up yeah. if you take too many of them. Oh, I think I'm, but I, I think Tylenol is a uh, set of metaphene or right. something. Well, all those things like or, ibuprofen, or, or Tylenol, Benadryl. Advil, all of them. Yeah. But I remember you guys remember back in like ninety like three, there was that guy that was like a psychopath who worked at the assembly line at Tylenol, and he put like poison in like yeah, thousands yeah, of thousands pills. Of bottles. Yeah. yeah, and then like a bunch of people just died. Yeah, and then Tylenol was like, "You still have a headache though, right?" And they're like, "Yeah, and we'll come back." I think that's why up. they. I think <laughs> that's why they started putting the safety seals after that. Yeah. Same thing with uh, uh, Bluebell. Nobody stopped whenever they started. Right, but that wasn't yeah. a guy who did it intentionally. That was just like a, that oh, you know what? Hey, uh, listen. It's COVID now. <laughs> I mean, that's Alex Jones' next take. Yeah, They're right. putting fucking A. coli in the ice cream bites. Yeah, right. Rocky <laughs> Road. Yeah. Together. Where are the emails? It's I nuts. feel like it was a missed conspiracy theory because nobody said anything. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know, you can put, yeah, why not? Mm. You can yeah. put this theory in the Bluebell thing. It's right. Well, what I don't a, think it's a hilarious trolley way of That would be very funny. You know. They put like a mildly dangerous thing in a bunch of ice cream. Yeah. And then yeah. just have people eat it. Yep. Like, what was it? Like, it, was, it was E. coli. <coughs> okay. That's yeah, right, yeah, it was yeah, which basically. Wasn't that in the spinach too? It was in mm-hmm. romaine lettuce for a minute. Okay. And then yeah. all these people were like, oh, man, I can't eat romaine, le- romaine lettuce. And I look yeah. at their Facebook and they're like 400 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> like, were you really going to eat the romaine lettuce? True. 
Yeah. If anything, it's like a rainy day. Maybe it's now, gar- you don't, now you have an excuse to not go outside. Yeah, maybe it's a garnish. Them having the romaine lettuce with E. coli, now they have an excuse to go snarf down a pastrami sandwich at Nathan Owls. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would a liter of cola right after. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Have you seen, so multiple times throughout this COVID thing, I've seen people share stuff and kind of nobody really personally. I've only known a handful of people personally who've actually gotten it and then a couple have died. But they're older. They yeah. literally. Yeah. No, my mom's my mom's brother too. died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And was he relatively? No. Uh, and he was he was like he was decently young, but he was diabetic. Maybe that was maybe part of it. Yeah, yeah. I got but it. It was a little surprising. Yeah, no, I remember you got yeah. it early on. And then my I mom got she in the hospital with it. Oh shit! She was, she was in the ICU for like I didn't know that. Yeah, she was in the ICU. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling. Anyway, yeah. she was I in wasn't the ICU going to. For, uh, <laughs> She was in the ICU for like three weeks, but yeah. she has like really fucked up asthma already. Right. So it like really you screwed her screwed over. Screwed her over on that. Yeah. And like I thought I was going to get screwed because like I'm overweight. I drank like a fish. I was right. like, yeah. my immune system's sick and more goddamn hits than Ray Rice's fucking girlfriend in an elevator. <laughs> okay. know, I'm sorry. But, but no, I, I, I got over it. Old callback. Yeah, right? I don't know. I'm yeah, not a right. sports guy. Uh, I just found out about it. You just were in sports and uh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> you just found out about sports yeah. like that one weekend. Yeah, no, yeah. I I just literally stayed in bed and, and just like chugged vitamins, Water, yeah. vitamins and water. Yeah. Well, yeah. what I've seen it, it's it's kind of funny to me, but like somebody else say, oh, there's a few times I I went on one that DFW, DFW Corona connection. It's like a huge like forty thousand people group, and basically it's just every day they're pumping out the numbers. And I'm so sick of that. <laughs> which is annoying, but I went in there and posted something like. Real early on, three months in or something, does anybody know anybody personally? So, of course, all these stories, and most of them were like somebody knew somebody who knew somebody who really right. wasn't anybody. For sure. The few of them that did share initially that they knew somebody, they're like, yeah, I was like, they were so healthy. And you click on the picture, and it's like. They were not healthy. It's like, yeah. nah, that, you can't be healthy with three chins. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can't. I mean, yeah. you can be healthy-ish. Uh-huh. You can be healthy for an American. Right. Uh, but. Come on. You know Jillian uh, Michaels. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. What's the, yeah from exactly. X-Files? No, she no, was the she's fitness, a trainer. fitness trainer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. You're not, you're not, you know, just like me. I drink Dr. Pepper. I smoke cigarettes. I, right. I don't get enough exercise. I used to drink a shit ton of Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's horrible for right, me, right? Yeah, yeah. So I can't be upset or be like, oh, my God. Like, like surprise. Yeah, surprise. Right. And, like, not only that, but for, what, 30 years now, our system has been pumping in preservatives and all of these things that have made – Arguably led to people's probably diabetes and led sure, to these, sure. I think the Dr things. Pepper was worse for me than the opiates. Probably, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Openly available, right? And just, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's actually probably worse yeah. on your system. I, well, I had a that's what yeah, that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, I had a drug yeah. professor who that was his whole thing. He was like, you can do cocaine and heroin, not cocaine. Cocaine kind of like He's amps even, you up. Well, maybe pure, maybe pure cocaine, maybe. Pure, but his whole thing was yeah. if what happens in addicts is. And typically, most often, and you know, less socioeconomic status addicts, yeah. and even all of them eventually, is they stop doing all the other stuff. Like they what stop eating, they stop bathing correctly, right. they stop taking care of certain hygiene things. Yeah. They, every, all these other yeah. things start going away, which that's what leads to the health problems. He's like, because actually, like heroin. No, it's not. It's I know. I knew some toxic really toxic for your body. It's yeah. less toxic than alcohol. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Your body's made to process. Or benzos. It. Benzos yeah. are pretty harsh on it, and oh, they yeah. new. Yeah. Benzos not as bad as alcohol though. Alcohol is the worst. Yeah, alcohol is the worst. Yeah. I literally yeah. took today's day twelve of no drinking for me. Oh yeah, yeah. That's all you said that uh, last night. I yeah. Know if you were serious. No, I was serious, dude. Because like after New Year's. Just woke up with that hangover. Well, it was like a, it was like it was like I, I thought I'd hit rock bottom, and then I somehow dug. To a new shittier rock bottom, like I'm some sort nice. of life fracker. Yeah, yeah. And then I just fucking woke up and I was like, I couldn't keep water down for five days. Jesus, yeah. dude. And That's... then like I was just dry heaving, and then like I was just so bummed. I was like, I just got to take a month, so I'm I'm taking this month to just uh, not drink. Dry out. DTs. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get DTs at all? Huh? Like the delirium tremors. You know oh yeah, no, I wake up, but luckily I have like a prescription to Xanax. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that will help. That right there, yeah. kids will help you wean off of. Yeah, uh, if you want to quit alcohol, alcohol, folks, there's my tree. Yeah, do other drugs. <laughs> do <Xanax. laughs> you can also do that with opiates. Uh, yeah, that's also mm. true. That's why I think we should definitely have weed legal soon because we could. Uh, a lot of people could transfer over to something like that off of something serious. And probably be okay. Yeah. Uh, especially yeah. if it's legal and 
you know, you don't have to. Well, it's decriminalized just in, in uh, Oregon. So, yeah, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so what, why haven't you gone it? I'm just kidding. I, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm hoping you, the rest of the country does that. You can go there ruin your life. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Legally, though. If I start working more on the road again, then, like, yeah, Oregon yeah. will definitely be a spot where yeah. I might not come back out of. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon's just going to be a black hole. I think that should be the punishment now. If you know you break the like you get a yeah. drug charge, you just they, they move, move you to Oregon. go to Oregon. Yeah, yeah, that'd be. And then yeah. you're forever, you're forever uh, condemned to a. It's like Australia. Yeah. It's yeah. Australia. You're forever, yeah. you're, ever, you're forever condemned to a lifestyle of donuts with peanut butter on them and guys on unicycles with mustaches. Right. Yeah. Or, trying to tell you where the best barista a lo- is. A lot of white people, pretty much. If you yeah. keep a job yeah. there sober for two years, you can get back into society. That's a good plan. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a nice yeah. rehabilitation. So Oregon's almost like. Purgatory. Gam- yeah. Purgatory or Gamora, in a way. Yeah, and it's like. Because it could be a blast. Because yeah. if you just go there on purpose in your 20s and, like, I want to just sanction off these four years. Yeah. Just for debauchery. Yeah. That's the way. Where do you go? Oregon. Could be sure. like that Amish thing they do. Rum yeah, where they get to go. Yeah, yeah it does. The Amish, they, the Amish live like an Amish lifestyle. And then I think when they turn like 17, they get to like go to Please. the city. Yeah. For like, and then yeah. like, Rump literally, Springer. they're all like. I no, I'm not going back to being Amish. I got pussy. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I didn't look like a fucking Osama bin Laden. Yeah. <laughs> His face. I got to go down on someone who was shaving. It was right, right. At least manicure. Right. right. A phone call? You ever heard of Uber? Yeah, yeah right. Tired of rickshaws. Yeah, right. Or horse and buggy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Some of them go back, right? Some yeah, of them do. Yeah, yeah. still there. I mean, that's the I point of it, wild. right? Yeah, if you don't want to be part of the... I still drive... It's called that's Rumspringer, right? I, yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like walking around here, same thing, and you see a... a, a you know, Garland, this part of Garland, we have a pretty heavy Muslim area, right? So really? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, like Richardson. You see a lot of burqas? Yeah, you know, yeah. you'll be like, you'll be, yeah, every day, I mean, you'll see somebody, but what gra- <laughs> cracks me up is seeing someone, like, I get, like, the head garb, and, like, the, sure. that's just. I mean, stuff. people are doing it now, pretty much, with COVID, with COVID. mass, right? But what's now burqas in. Is seeing a, a lady, uh, you assume <laughs> a lady. Uh, going down the street with the full thing and the whole uh, everything, yeah, yeah, and then using an iPhone, and yeah, we're there's just something absurd a little bit, yeah. about situation. looking like you should be on a camel. Yeah, you know? well, and then that, you're, you're ordering grub. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I could say that about Jesus people too, though. Or, you know what I mean? Or Jews like the yeah, yeah, Orthodox. Yeah. The Jews, Orthodox. The yeah. Yeah. Orthodox guys are kind of crazy when you see them like. Well, they can't do stuff on Sundays, right? Like push buttons. I thought it was and, Saturday. Like, with or, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but, yeah. Regardless, yeah, it's some sort of... Sorry, yeah. That's why your special is going to be on Stormfront. You don't even know the the Jewish traditions. (laughs) You're clearly an anti-Semite. I thought that was just like a hypothetical. Why is this now... You guys said you would do it, so... I would I, I, yeah. at this point. I, could, I don't have an hour of. I, be, I don't think I responded. Yeah. I said no. no neither oh, of us really, nice. Neither, yeah, neither of us. <laughs> but really you got. Yeah. This. God damn it. Yeah, you fucking racist. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? Huh? I would never. I would yeah. never associate. With, we were. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> no, no, I'll be honest. If I was at a point in my stand-up comedy journey that I felt like I had an hour's worth of material, which yeah. I'm nowhere near. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I have yeah, like, I I think I have like 30. I could be $10,000 to just record it yeah, yeah. and just take it. Yeah. I think I could yeah, do right like... Right now? Like right now with the financial situation I'm in now? Yeah, who cares? Exactly. Because like, yeah. well, well, at the end of the day, at this point... And by the way, I always said it was tempting. I never even gave you guys. You said I would an do it. Yeah, you did. I don't remember that. We'll, we'll, no. we'll, 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 we'll find Stop white explaining shit to me. That's fucking. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, you turned it around on us. Yeah. Hey, Whatever. Listen. You're saying I'm a Nazi. Yeah. Listen to Schindler's List. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you get to the Schindler's gist? What are you uh, calling us here? Is Schindler's is Schindler's List really a bad thing though? Isn't that the thing you want to be on? Uh, no. No. Because well, he was the one that saved him, right? Schindler's List? Yeah. He was the doctor. That but was. if he had a list, that would imply that there are Jews suffering. So already yeah. the list's existence is a bad it's thing. A bad yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, The whole No, situation. for sure. Sh- no, so that's, that's just for your sure. anti-Semitism rearing no. its ugly head once <laughs> no, more. Not, not at all. But yes, if no. you, much like stand-up comedy, if you're in a genocide, you yeah. want to be on the list. Somebody. Right, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you want to be on the guy's going to save you. Somebody, somebody or yeah, or even right, the it's list. A, it's a shitty time, man. Even yeah. the other list where they're just going to kill you faster it might be. A, Ma- yeah, a maybe. Good idea yeah, because they're like, ah, we got to get rid of these fuckers. And then, yeah. I don't know. Wait, I, no, I thought you meant it just if I die quickly. I didn't mean like I want to either be saved or fucking die quickly. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, two, yeah. That's the two ones you want to do. You don't want to do yeah. the. You don't want to be the the Jews who ended up on film. Right? Yeah, or the ones that have to actually survive, you know, that actually made it out and, like, 
Yeah. Y'all know any? Have you ever met? I met a Holocaust survivor. Yeah, I, I met think, one or two. I think my girlfriend's uh, grandfather was. was and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wild, right? It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's it's pretty funny watching. Or I love talking to those people because they have no um, qualms about like calling out the horse shit. <laughs> yeah. First of all, yeah. it's so disrespectful for the liberal media today to be like, you're a Nazi because I didn't like your tweet. It's like, really? All right. No. How about the Nazis that murdered six million people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, and then the people that are alive that went through that to like yeah. see that on the news every day. Yeah. Not only does that probably cause a lot of stress yeah. just seeing the word. But like having it used and bastardized like that, for yeah. sure, it's extremely disrespectful to the people who went through yeah. that. Went through a real. I'm problem. sure. I'm exactly. sure a lot of them don't even like care in that sense. Like I bet you, the, a lot of them get over it in that sense where they're like, who, who gets like, over it? Like I'm saying, <laughs> like saying Jews get over the Holocaust. Well, I'll, no, I'll, not as a whole, but like those actual survivors. I like, don't they think have they were to, probably the least ones to get over it. Well, you know? I agree with you because I I heard. I think you have to get over shit. Well, like, I, not in your own time. It's not, I'm not stubbing su- your toe. Yeah, of course it's not. Fucking, yeah, was, of course there not. A, there yeah, was a story not too long ago where basically something, some one of these new lefty kids basically started something that riled up like anti-Semitic sentiment in a small town in somewhere, Iowa or some fucking place. I don't remember mm-hmm. where the story was. Long story short, that town unbeknownst to these people that started this whole movement, uh, I think it was an anti-Semitic, stupid online, like, probably yeah. started there, like, whatever. Um, that town had taken in a long time ago a bunch of Holocaust survivors. And yeah, nobody talked about it. Because, like, back yeah. then, you got to think about that. When they moved over here in the 40s or late, whatever, late 30s, early 40s, when all that was happening, like, West Texas, for instance, was a large German influx of people that were already here, but you know, more and more showed up. Um, they were over it to an extent. And yeah, and yeah like and you're and saying, don't, wait, don't get me wrong. There are it. probably some of them that killed themselves. That doesn't oh, mean af- like afterwards from the trauma. So yeah. I, I totally get what you're, I get where you're coming from. But, but what they were saying, yeah, yeah. they were saying like, fuck these kids who are saying that, because they, basically these guys were saying something and then a whole other group came back on them about being just horrible people for this whatever. And they, they kind of said what you're saying was like, we went through real, like, survival. Right. We had right. to survive real shit. These opinions and these. Are so inconsequential compared to the actual the history. Thing. It was the same thing with BLM, right? Like, right. Like, I mean, to sit here and say that since the 50s, there hasn't been insane leaps and bounds made. Uh, is for a lot of people. For a lot, yeah, 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 for yeah, a yeah. lot of people, but yeah, yeah. It, also for specifically for black folks, too, because. Yeah. Indians came Indian, in 19, I forget when the. Guy did it. Let him be. Wasn't he LBJ, loud? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that was around all around the same time. But yeah. to I don't know. To me, any of these new day, new age activists are completely shitting on like the people who really made changes in the fifties, yeah, in the sixties. Like the you know not just Martin Luther King, but Martin Luther King and Michael X were just two people that represented swaths of like real struggle on the streets and right. real marches and real litigation that went on in real courts. And really change stuff to where, yeah, I mean, affirmative action happened. A lot of these things that yeah. happen that really do make it, um, you know, whatever. I don't want to say equal, but easier, right, um, for anybody to get a thing going. And like now, yeah, it's all, it's like I don't know, LARPing. It, it all, is LARPing. It, it all That's seems a good way like to put LARPing. It. Like, it is even LARPing. even like this capital like bombardment that happened this week. Sure, yeah. like it's. I mean, you're it's not, not saying fake, but like it's almost like all for. It's all just for the news, yeah, in well, a sense. It's, it's all. To, it's all to, to get likes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. To yeah. get clout yeah. or, or whatever done instead, because like my buddy Jay, who was on the first episode of this, uh, he said he's in Guatemala now, and I met him. About the Marine guy. The Marine guy. I Where? met him at Occupy, and you know, Occupy was an interesting situation. I don't know if y'all followed it back yeah, when it yeah, happened yeah. about ten years ago. Um. I mean, not, I don't really watch the news, but I do know what I can What it was. Yeah. And he posted the thing yesterday, but saying, like, yeah, like all the energy we focused on activism and awareness, if you just went out in your community around you and were a little bit better, just a little bit better person, mm-hmm. not having everything a, would be better. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Technically. You took all that energy and yeah. just be kind to others. In a out, sense. Yeah, just be kind to others, yeah. do some nice stuff. Right. Or just focus completely on making your life better. Like right. Get a good yeah. job. But not know. like narcissistic. I agree with that. But yes. Because yes. yes. Martin Luther King was famously quoted as saying, like, good actions have a ripple effect. Like, okay. if you do something good, yeah. it'll encourage that person to go on and do something good, so forth, so the other. Then 
Yeah. If, you, if you focus that energy, like you were saying, on just doing something small and good in the day, you know, like helping an old woman cross the street, masturbate, not at the library, nice. it'll help you so out. I was waiting for the joke. Sense. I was waiting. Because <laughs> <I was, laughs> once he said Martin Luther King, I was like, he's going to butcher <laughs> something. <laughs> but that was classy and self deprecating. That's you. why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And man, and not masturbating at the library isn't a good thing. Yes, they yeah. won't see me there one day, and they go, "You know what? I should go home and hug my yeah. daughter." Yeah, or masturbate at home. Yeah, yeah. In front of your daughter. No, go <laughs> real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I knew you. I could see. You could see was coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm just bouncing off you, man. <laughs> Shiva, someone told me I forgot his name, but like. Some guy who was used to go to hyenas all the time. Yeah, we were talking about like uh, like Hindu food and like Indian food. Are you, are you talking about an Indian guy? Yeah, yeah, no, he was a white dude. Oh, nice, like nice. Some Irish dude. Nice. Anyway, Glad you guys was, are talking about our culture. Yeah. Like well, well, anyway, he was, like, dude, he was like, he was like, he was like, he was like, hey man, you want to know where curry, like what curry is it all about? I'm yeah. like, give me the curry hot take, dude. He's yeah, like, yeah. He's like, all right. So basically, in India, their meat is so rancid. No, that they, <laughs> they have to Jesus. cover up. Curry's they, not even no, an Indian thing. Out. I'm going to hear you I'm, out. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not even doing this. a bit. This is what the guy told me. No, I believe you. He goes, he goes, their meat is so rancid that they want to sell it after it's expired. So they, they put curry into it. And I go, what goes into curry? He's like, cumin, some other shit, and lies. I'm like, nice. lies. I, nice. That was the third ingredient. I don't even. It's more than that. And then I was just like, I never saw him again after that. <laughs> yeah. That, that brings up one of my favorite things, and it's not one of the most positive. Uh, it's guilty pleasure about open mics in the comedy scene in general is the mental illness. Yeah. Uh, that just shows up on a Tuesday. I would like to you talk to that I mean? guy. I don't, I don't, I'm not. He was interesting as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to be like, no, but Curry's not even an Indian thing. That's like that's not. That's what I thought. I tried yeah. to tell him that. It? Yeah. Is it Asian? Uh, I, I, well, definitely like Thai food as yeah. curry and stuff. Yeah. But like curry is just it got turned into that because when the British, you know, di- uh, took over. Took over. Yeah. Really, I think what the main thing that they're talking about is turmeric. But it's literally spices like. Uh, man, I, I should look this spices. up. That, no, that uh, British people eat or whatever. You know, like everyone eats yeah. for the most part. But for some reason, it like just became. Thing. Yeah, I might I might be mildly misinformed, but uh, I'm eighty percent sure. Yeah, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna I be mean, com- I'm gonna be, be confident be, about this. There had to be an element mm-hmm. back in the day of using spices and using things to cover up shitty meat, though. That's true. That's yeah, no, true. and I, I get like, that. You know, yeah. I mean, but I don't think there's <laughs> lies in curry. I'm pretty sure it's an honest <laughs> yeah. spice. So I think it's the most curry. honest. It's, it's not, gonna, not even Indian, so you know Indians yeah. still be liars. But, well, if we get to the point where spices have to have a moral fiber. Uh, we've sure. lost the, the whole thing. Yeah. I think saffron's probably the nicest. nicest spice. Yeah. What goes into some, saffron? N- just it's, it's just, just saffron. saffron. Yeah, yeah. What it's is it? Is it like a flower? It's uh, a spice. It's, it's oh, like it's a, a spice. It's yeah. really cool. It's like uh, it looks like a uh, filament. Like fucking uh, kind of like rosemary. No, in a sense? no, like if you get real right. saffron, like it looks like uh, it's like, like LED w- filaments, like the little long. Oh, that's weird. Okay, the long. It's like it's, yeah, I know what you're like, talking about. Yeah, it's like hair. It's like it's fuzzy like hairs. Yeah, 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 it's really, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's fun to cook with. But I meant like you know how rosemary. I mean, those are twigs in yeah, that sense. Yeah, but yeah, no, but it's, it's way like more. It's way. Uh, it's more fine. It's way more fine for sure. It's not like it's like rosemary, thyme, and basil and all that stuff. They look like you know, leaves, but no, nah, this no looks, rosemary doesn't look like leaves. Well, you, you know, you're right. They're pointy. Yeah, but yeah. Still, it's still but green. basil, yeah, yeah, yeah. And saffron. We're just red. Ar- arguing about. I like, I like, um, I like uh, bringing it back because, like, spices sort of like they always now they have like spices that are in the incense, you know, mm-hmm. and um, like have, sage or something. Yeah, like stuff know? like that. So I was dating this girl once in Chicago, and she was like this California girl. So she was all like, you know, retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah good job anyway good job so she, i'm sure she, she was retarded no she came in and she would always insist socially retarded she would always insist okay to like, she would, yeah, I think that's called she would, autistic she would always no yeah. she didn't like trains enough okay but she would always insist Jeez. that she wanted to like sage my apartment yeah, yeah. No, I bet. and i'm like what's wrong with febreze she's like that's all chemicals and then she would light it and i'm like what is a what shit in here? Like it's, yeah, it smells nice. awful. Yeah, yeah. I like I like sage. I prefer you like shit. sage. I love sage. You, I can't stand it. Man. You prefer shit over sage. Oh, I would much rather <laughs> yeah. smell my own fecal matter <laughs> than uh, cleanse That's, my house of some. Did, yeah, I, sure. I think that means he has a demon then. Yeah, he sure. He, no, he might have ass. nice shit yeah, or. Yeah. He has like that pooper pop yeah, poopery yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever Taco Bell is in Latin, that's my demon. Nice. <laughs> I think it's be- be- Bello El Taco. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Bello El Taco. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean I like Sage. I've 
I, that's how I was introduced to it. Is it's like about girl. spirits and stuff, right? Um, and I read into it, and like it's actually a micro. It, it, it also like the smoke might actually help a little. Well, the smoke, I doubt it. It's mystical or spiritual at, at any, but whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. who knows what level? Yeah. Who oh, it looks like you're a believer. You, well, you, I, I had one instance that I will get to. If you want to hear. Wait, you saw a ghost or some no, no, shit? Hold on, let me just, no, sorry, but sorry. I'll, I'll explain. But after all that, I read into it a little bit more. It was it's a microbiome. It basically kills like fucking germs. Oh, cool. It, yeah. it has that element to it. It's also great for outside to keep the mosquitoes away. Oh, I like that. And just yeah. keep bugs away. I like that. You just have different incense burning outside. Okay, like it's a good way to keep. I know. I think like, I can get behind that. I think so, kitty litter supposedly keeps out ants. In a, in that's, a, yeah, same thing. So, probably some sort of thing. Yeah. So the one time, I, so yeah, I have, I've, I've had sage around my house and used it before, and this whole spiritual thing was a thing, right? So one night, uh, this was back. Uh, me and my wife now had just gotten together, and she we didn't have the twins yet, so we were kind of a little more, you know, drinking and partying and having a little more good time. Yeah. And. Um, my buddy, who was dating a girl that I will only call problematic, just sure. because you know we all know the type, like the hammer girl at the bar. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I mean, no one's ever of, told her no. No one's told her no. She's already got a daughter who's her, you know, who's almost right. Uh, you know, she had a kid when she was sixteen. She's a hot mess, if you will. Yeah. So we're sitting outside my garage. He shows up with her. I'm sitting outside my garage. Um, my wife's inside. This girl takes, like, doesn't even know social cues. Like, she just goes into our house, into, like, my wife was actually in the bath, in the back bathtub. And she, like, opens the back bathroom and, like, you know, so she's being really forward. Yeah. She's just hammered. So I'm sitting outside. Oh, word. And I, I just, because we're about to smoke a, a joint, I just lit the sage as, that's why I lit it. Like, mm-hmm. it wasn't trying to right. summon demons. It was just, yeah, cover up. Just to cover up yeah, the yeah. smell. And uh, as soon as I lit that, and as soon as it hit her fucking nose... She just snapped. Like an exorcism. Exactly. It was very, very, very interesting. Yeah. She got extremely irate, uh, basically started, like, I forgot what she said to me, said some shit to her boyfriend, and ultimately, long story short, they ended up leaving right there. Whoa. After. And, you know, so I processed that for a while. That's fucking crazy. Wait, where was this? Here? It's outside. Yeah. No, this yeah. was in Forney. Oh, okay. when I lived in Forney. And I went no, but at your house. By my house, yeah. Yeah, my house, yeah my garage, okay. In my garage, ultimately. Yeah, that's um, me. Yeah. So and, maybe she's a demon. and yeah. She's got a demon in her. Yeah. Well, and then I thought about it. I was so what if she had some sort of major trauma when she was a child? Yeah, she got I mean, raped by a shaman. Gonna, and that's... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, no, I mean... Theoretically, what if she has? I think that's called an ayahuasca. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, but maybe she. <laughs> that's that's new wave. Yeah, uh, and people pay for that now. Mm. Um, but maybe what if what if something um, traumatic happened to her? And then she affiliates the smell. And that smell, because I, I, I no, I, that's possible. Yeah. Well, I had a when I was in college, I had a professor. But you can't know that or. No, no, I have no idea. It's just speculation. It's just yeah. speculation. Like, yeah. God, to me, that makes more sense than going, oh, it was yeah. a demon. Right, that yeah. does make a lot more sense. <laughs> like, sure. I, mean, I, think, I think you have to be careful when you blame things on demons. You yeah, really do. Sure. That's you a really very... Do. I thought we were getting into yeah. silliness yeah. about this, but that's very thoughtful. <laughs> and yes, that's, <laughs> that's correct. I agree that with is, you, Terry yeah. You just don't yeah. want to be like, hey, you're a demon. That's mean. No, for that's sure. very mean. It is. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, because, yeah, I had an addiction professor who... Well, I think what you need to learn, or people need to learn, is you just don't light sage anymore. No. Yeah, because really there's a lady out there that yeah gets triggered when there's that's, sage. That's what the right th- wants to do with drugs. Yeah. That's their whole thing. I'm not trying to make just sage because, illegal. Like, I just, just don't care for the... Just the people can't yeah. handle it doesn't mean we shan't all have So how, it. how old are your uh, <laughs> twins that you had? Uh, they're nine now. Nine. Did you ever like sing like nursery songs to them? No, I'm not a singer, really. Like, we had what music about your wife? on. You're like, okay. So we would, I have always raised them It comes music. out a little more serial killer being like, right. hush, little baby. <laughs> 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 Just well, like. I remember when, like, what about, like, like head, shoulders, knees, and toes? That's uh, a, yeah. 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 It's also a list of places Joe Biden will touch you. Oh, hey, hey, God damn it. it. <laughs> he likes his hairy legs. <laughs> You're the fucking worst sometimes. I know. <laughs> I really did try and push that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about no, that. that was well. That was, that was good. That was good. Nice for that one and good. You did. <laughs> I'm just yeah. curious. How long have you been thinking about a Biden joke? You know, was that I'm not a political. I just thought of that. Probably for 40 years since <laughs> yeah. he started his political shit. 
Well, you said hot mess, and it reminded me of that. What was that? Lit actress in American Pie? The uh, redhead? No, nah, the blonde. That like didn't oh, Terry Reed. Terry yeah, Reed. Yeah, She's nice. a hot mess, and then it triggered me to think of that joke. Nice. Uh, Lindsay Lohan's yeah. a hotter mess, probably. Yeah. 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 Like, she saw pictures of her where she was like in like a high, like a like a New York City apart studio apartment, just like doing coke with her tits out. And, yeah, sounds like another night in Hollywood. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, for sure. Yeah. What about Amanda Bynes, right? She, she yeah. She I mean, fucking, I, she, I read a story like a couple years ago. She took a fucking cab from New York to California. Yeah. A cab? Yeah. Because you can. I mean, she could. Yeah, but it was the same cab. Like, yeah, yeah. That's you insane. feel bad for that cab driver, maybe? A little bit. I don't know what I feel yeah. worse for him the long drive or having to talk to a woman for 48 hours. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Bynes is enough. <laughs> I know, but no, she. I mean, it's it's hard to be a, a, a child actor and not uh, end up hit the up. skids. Oh yeah, eventually, right? I mean, because yeah. like you literally, like think about the mind fuck that's got to be like growing up and then being marketed. Yeah, I mean, literally being marketed, and then it's like Michael Jackson. Like everybody, you know, poor guy. Like I don't know. I mean, I feel bad for the dude. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fall in the whole group of people who thinks he was a weird pedophile. Like I think who Michael Vick? No, no, Chad Jackson. Who? Michael Jackson. Michael Vick. Is Michael Vick being a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, why don't I add that onto the, <laughs> the guy's been through enough. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need that rumor. Uh, no, I just I don't know. I think there was like, yeah, like that. I don't. Some of these kids were so just raised in such a strange it's the parents really yeah 100%. Yeah. i mean what was my what created michael jackson joe jackson did. Mm-hmm. sure exactly yeah, it's yeah. a cycle yeah. the whole thing and i don't think joe molested michael no but he but like yeah. overworked yes, the market no, and market down made him like basically yeah. ruined took away his childhood took away yeah. his child. well and like yeah. one thing i heard because like i heard I remember, i've watched a handful of different things on the whole thing but what i gathered from it from listening to some psychologists talk about it was that like so more than likely, like Michael Jackson was like asexual, sure. Like, because he even in one of his stories, he even said about how like even four and five years old, he would be in the room while his brothers were having sex with females, and like that can really mess up a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combine that with the whole marketing and excessive yeah. promotion, and yeah. not having any actual childhood. Yeah. He just wanted to build his big childhood thing, so that's where Neverland Ranch came from. Yeah, reason I mean, that seems obvious, right? Build it. Because, like, Nickelodeon back then was actually kind of a den and haven for, like, weird Sure. Well, stuff. dude, Dan yeah, yeah. Schneider yeah, he was made, one, like, a lot of shows I grew up watching. Yeah, and I mean, then he's, like, bad. He's a bad guy. A bad person. First of all, there's a guy named Brian Peck that, like, yeah. worked on uh, The Amanda Show and a bunch of other shows mm-hmm. alongside. He literally got acute, uh, uh, convicted of raping a child on the Nickelodeon Studio lot. Oh Jesus! And then went to jail, got out, and Nickelodeon hired him back. back. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking. I think nuts. I, I think I vaguely know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what they were saying, the story I read was saying that basically at that time frame, the executives were using Michael Jackson's ranch as kind of like a honeypot, because like parents wouldn't even think some parents wouldn't even think anything of it, especially if you're within that system. Yeah. Oh, let your kids come play at Neverland Ranch for right. a weekend. You know, blah blah blah. And yeah, Michael Jackson's doing whatever he's doing, probably just. Wanting to play fucking Parcheesi, or I don't yeah. know, you know, actually do, I don't know, like do role playing. So who knows? Right. Maybe he was a weirdo at the same time. They had a ranch but, at Nickelodeon too, like Selena Gomez, and they would yeah. make him go there. I think that might be Dan Schneider, or I'm, I'm confusing the, but I don't yeah, know but they the had a full ranch. ranch, and yeah. then yeah, they would have to like audition, and you wouldn't, you there? might not, and yeah, they would try to make you go stay at the pool right. for <laughs> a long time. Like that was like the main place where you could get seen. Yeah, and, like yeah, so gross. I'm glad Hollywood's getting decentralized, so now it's like... Yeah. Uh, I'm glad everyone's everywhere. moving to Texas. <laughs> a lot of people are getting mad, like, ah, get these Californians out of here, but I'm like, no. as opposed to what? what? I'm staying there and, and, and enabling this fucking elite, Delusion? pedophile, Satanist fucking group sure. of people? Sure, It's true. I mean... I'm it, sure there are a couple good guys there now. Yeah. Tim Dillon, One? Rogan, they're all right. Sure. Okay. And then yeah. you got like, I don't know. About it. I don't yeah. know if there's nice. any, I don't know if there's yeah. any good people. people out there. Honestly, yeah. I, I mean, Will Sasso is cool. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm sure you have a lot of normal people that are amazing people. Probably a like, better way of phrasing it. Yeah, but like anybody at the executive level or oh, like no, the yeah. money level yeah. in LA. I mean, I'm sure that happens everywhere. Something about power in general. No, but LA is yeah. so like lawless. Sure, I believe and that. Godless. Yeah. Yeah. There's no like in Texas. I, mean, I don't care about godless, but but yeah, yeah. Well, in Texas, yeah. you're gonna you're not gonna get away with. I mean, okay, if you have the same amount of money and stuff, you can probably get away with whatever you want. Yeah. Still, yeah. 
But like you have in Texas, you have people who've made their money off land and oil and kind of real. Not business, off the backs real of businesses. Uh, yeah, yeah. People. Nah, well, I mean, you say not off the backs of because they no, they have employees. Probably they pay. Yeah. Um, there's usually like an actual product, not this person you're kind of manipulating and controlling. And, right. And yeah. LA's LA's economy is based on what? Yeah, yeah it's like trafficking people. We know yes, even even above that's a, that's a way of putting it. Yeah, above 100%. board. You know, what's, yes, what's above SAG? board trafficking. Yeah, I mean, SAG is, a, is 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 nothing but you know an organization of people promoting people and selling people and yeah. with their talents and all that. But well, I think originally it was it. good though. Originally yeah, it was the, you know like SAG was necessary because they were actors were being dicked over. But yeah, I think right, it right. Lo- that always loses, loses its it. yeah. Yeah, and then it becomes mob, like right? when the Wait, mob right. took it over. Sag yeah. is that like selling all the girls? What is that? No, sag? no. I don't studio, know what that is. Studio, studio Actors Guild. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's much more innocent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's still the same thing. Still the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think much. selling all girls is. Yeah. Uh, they should be more awesome. forthright about it. It does leave boys out, which I don't think that you know. No, no they just call. Ready to talk they just call them girls. What about Nambla? I know about Nambla. You ever heard of Nambla? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So one time North I got American. like I was all bored at night, and I was like, "Why don't I visit the Nambla website?" So I went on the Nambla website, and you're on a I, list now. <laughs> dude, I've been on a list for goddamn years. That's several lists. Fact, here, I'm on a list. I know it. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh no! But if you go on the Nambla website, there's like a tab where it's like uh, personal testimonials. And then you click on it, dude. It is a fucking Shit gold show. mine. Yeah. Oh, it's a gold mine, dude. I'm sitting there. It's like at first I felt it was wrong, but he's actually kind of like a mentor. And then like I looked the guy up. He killed himself two years later. I'm like, Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah, great mentor, huh? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, you know, that's uh, yeah, it's uh, that. It's uh, pretty popular in the gay community, though, right? Like well, grooming. huge, like yeah, yeah. Age, gaps. age gaps. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. The, the, the the drag queen, like they they give like kids drugs. Like they're yeah. drag queens and they think they're girls and then like Lord knows what they're doing behind closed doors to these fucking kids. kids uh, they're deranged, yeah. don't even know who they are. Uh, it's crazy. It's probably wild. I mean, it's like mm-hmm. that one that child actor kid, whatever, who came popular in the past two years where they're having Jeffrey. dance on stage and stuff. And yeah, Jeffrey, the amazing Jeffrey. He's like some. He's like eleven or twelve. Yeah, and he's dressing up basically in drag and like you know doing. Risque dances and uh, like almost and like that gay Netflix clothes. one. I forgot what it was called. The, cuties, yeah, yeah similar. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Except for cuties was kind of trying to expose you know, sure. that for sure. Where this is just literally, and I think like his main mentors, like one of the dudes, he just died recently, but one of the dudes was like this guy who was made famous out of the whole New York club scene. Uh, he's a promoter who literally went to jail for chopping up someone. I remember this. He literally went to jail for chopping up someone and killing them and then dismembering them, ultimately pled guilty or pled out or was yeah. convicted, served his time, and was now free. Uh, and now he has a YouTube channel with an 11 with 11. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? I mean, I don't know his that, name, but, but I've seen the video. There's yeah. a, like a 30 second video of someone cut up, dude, and it's like, it's that guy, and yeah. then it's that little kid, kid, and then it's some other creep. And they're like, "Oh, welcome back to the queer kids comedy corner, whatever that is." Jesus. And then, and then the, it, it, the camera like pans in on the, the painting behind them. Have yeah. you seen this? No, it I've pans in that. on the painting behind them, and it's like this, it's like avant garde painting. Yeah. But one of the words on the painting is "roof and all." Yeah. No, I saw that. And one. then, yeah. and then, like you see the dude who painted it, who is one of the guys on the couch, and you visit his website. And it's all just like child porn on a canvas. Oh wow, yeah. it's, it's and, crazy. And that's why, yeah. like, when people were like, "Oh, I don't understand where these cute people come from." Yeah, I get it. Like, I've, I kind of hard to sell. I kind of walk. Well, it's, and also, I get how you could follow if you don't have a life and you're or you're unhappy with your life around you. Yeah, you get into you, weird you, stuff. You get into weird stuff or right? drugs, drugs or, or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Isolation. Three, two or three, four years ago, when this all started, you know, stuff like that started breaking out, and then a lot of different other things on the internet and on. Chan boards and then kind of slowly leaks up to the, the mainstream, yeah. Um, and Facebook and now, uh, but knowing like that kind of stuff, you're like, okay, I, I, I listen, I'm not gonna sit here and say go along with all of this Q stuff, but like the Epstein thing it was, was real, it was pretty provocative, at least. Yeah, the Epstein it, right? thing turned out to be 100% real, yeah. And everybody was like, oh, bullshit. This thing with these promoters and these young kids. That's real. That's real. But there, you, yeah. like, I agree with you. you. There's, like, a line you have to draw you where you're, like. You have to figure like, it out. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, some stuff is, like, 
not just coincidental. Like it's too much to where it's glaringly obvious that it's yeah. true. Yeah. And then there's some stuff where you're like, all right, man, that's a little bit connecting dots, dots. where there's no dot to connect. Right. Well, like when they're saying like Hillary Clinton and are like into when it gets into the whole adrenochrome. Yeah. Thing, yeah. yeah like the dude. whole Satanist or, yeah. or the lizard or stuff. Marina Abramovic. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I do think Abrina Abr- is evil. Is an evil woman. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Well, well, she's she a had, woman. Well. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. Yeah, hey, I know. Right? Hank <laughs> is our most favorite misogynist. Yeah, no, I'm, kidding, I'm a misogynist too. Don't worry. I love yeah. misogyny. But did you see? So sure you do. Where I was in not from women though, right? No, only from women. Oh, okay. I had no fruit. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So oh. they call him Triple Down Hank. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> <There you go. laughs> gang, gang. Marino <laughs> uh, Bramovich or whatever. I was introduced to her through a viral video uh, where have you ever seen the one where she sits down and they bring the dude James in. James Franco just looks at her for like five minutes, like that 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 New York modern art exhibit where she sits well, it wasn't down. Was James Franco? Her. Well, it was just people. No, no, no. Okay, this was a different. Well, yeah, yeah. That was one of her exhibits, which was just gay. Like New York art is so it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like if you didn't, if they didn't live in this fairy tale world where they all matter, uh-huh. none of this stuff would be profound. Right. Um, but she basically, and this one was interesting because you got to figure out what it was. Um, so basically, she's there, and she's sitting in this room with all these people around her. Uh-huh. This man comes in who is he's roughly in his 50s, mm-hmm. um, beard, you know, looks like a dude. Just looks kind of like, like a guy you'd pull off a fucking mountain road, honestly. Kind of a stoic white dude to an extent. Um, he sits down in front of her, and like, you can just immediately see him start crying. Like, I mean, like, it was like that. So, what happened there? Because basically what they said is they hadn't seen each other in 30 years. Oh, okay, this isn't art. She fucked him. Like, no, she had never fucked another man for a couple months of his life. Right. He was he, in his he's 20s. He's not been able to forget about it and for it, 20 years. Yeah, and he's not been able to forget about it. They kept tabs <laughs> on him, and they brought him back because that's the kind of people these fucking kind of people are. They like They're just like and They torture. like humiliating and torturing people, yeah. and that's what they get off on, right? I mean, it's like the... What's that comedy movie to dinner with fools oh dinner schmucks dinner schmucks like that 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 plays into this yeah. whole thing like that's, schadenfreude yeah exactly schadenfreude it's a the, the fucking german thing uh and like yeah those people they, they're real people right and they do really weird shit yeah you know what i mean also like, i just like to point out like mm-hmm. schadenfreude being a term that means taking pain in other people's misery it's pleasure. great that oh oh pl- it'll be a pleasure in other people's pain yeah it's so fitting that it, the Germans are the ones that came up with yeah, the yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little ironic. I'm sorry, just keep going. But there's a lot of that in comedy, right? You get, we're, yeah. that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. right? Yeah. We're given whenever I see my friends bomb, I love it. Say again? My friends, whenever they bomb, <laughs> oh, yeah, they all no, see you too. every night, you'll fucking eat shit, and oh, I'll be like, sure. hell yeah. But I'm saying even like challenging You're the audience, fun. sometimes there's a little pleasure. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I, I honestly whatever. like bombing myself, like, because when the audience hates me. I'm not technically saying bombing, but bombing is... Oh yeah, you're right. It is also kind of a but yeah. No, I get your self-deprecating yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I think there is that's a, a reverse. Line. That's a reverse shot. And whatever. Shot and for, well, I, I think we. Yeah, all of us have that, right? But mm. you don't ever really want to see someone, someone do bad. Do bad. No, you don't want. Yeah. You're not will, uh, you're wishing. Not, for you're them. not wishing for them to do angry, do horrible. Right. Yeah. We I mean we've met those people, right? Yeah. yeah. We know yeah, those yeah, kind yeah. of people where like you know that they. But really, that goes back to the people, the fucked up people again, mental yeah. illness. Right. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just enough for those types of people to like see someone else do bad. Right. They have to also like no. I mean, it's not just enough for them to be doing better in their career. They right. also need to see them the other person fail. fail. Right. Yeah, it's Which like what's insane. wrong with no, you? No, I yeah, it's fucked up. We're living in yeah. a weird age where like comics hate comics. Well, it's like it's misery like a, loves like company, company whatever. Yeah. Misery loves company. Misery loves company. Yeah. But yeah. to be honest, I think if you're miserable, you do need company though. That's like the last. That's true. But do you yeah. need another fucking miserable person? <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's a good point. There yeah. you go. Misery needs not. How about misery needs Prozac. How about that? Or misery <laughs> How needs about I go love. To my doctor and get yeah. misery. misery needs a hobby I think. Yeah. sure there you go <laughs> really I'm a little bit of prozac tools. i don't know i don't know about you don't know about prozac yeah what do you think about i don't pro- i'm not big anti- i mean if you need it i'm like yeah yeah of course you're not a big antidepressant guy you stick yeah. a needle in your arm yeah used to <laughs> used to, used yeah, to. You don't need- allegedly prozac's never allegedly for you. you've, you've that ship has sailed <laughs> Once you've done, yeah, Why? once you've done heroin, you think a fucking SSRI is going to help you? That's like vitamins. if I am actually depressed, but then coming off of those drugs, you will be depressed. But so I wouldn't right. suggest. Pr- I mean, if you're going to kill yourself, yeah, I'd take you know. How would you? It's kill just yourself? really hard to get off Definitely any heroin. depressants Her- for sure, right? I think so, right? Kill How myself? would you kill yeah. yourself? Heroin? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I would. Here's what I do. It would be would, like nostalgia. 
That's not <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. You just like your last words are like, I yeah. love the Indians. Yes. Well, yeah. I know, yeah. I lost a, a good, good buddy. Well, I don't say good buddy, but a kid I grew up with that, um, you know, we grew up in a small town, and everybody kind of knows each other. And, yeah. Uh, when I went back to Forney, he had kicked. I think he'd been clean for a couple of years. And then right around that time, like three or four of them died. It's a little group. Yeah, I've had a lot of friends you, die. You know how that works. Well, yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, that was it. They went back and just that's. They fill up Seymour Hoffman and them. Yeah, they basically, yeah, and it's just fucking a war. Well, it's, you never know. It's only bad dope, right? Because that's how dude, it is. That can be it. Like it no, was. but usually it's because they're going back, and I'm not, I don't, these are uh, whatever, in, in, yeah. anecdotal yeah, things, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. like, usually a lot of junkies will try to go back to their. But what they used to uh-huh. use, yeah. or at least they miscalculate, and then yeah, and the tolerance is off, and then, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I'm glad I stuck. But to it's this. also bad dope too, right? You know what's interesting? When I got really in my drug stuff, you know, fentanyl started kicking in, and they started putting uh, them in like benzos and stuff. Yeah. So I, I probably doing opiates could have maybe saved my life a little bit because I was dabbling in everything compared to you know because if I had not, never done opiates and then taken like a Xanax with fentanyl in it, a then I'm, yeah, yeah, because yeah. that shit's. That serious? shit's crazy. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah no, I, I, I actually I they have one more called carfentanil, which is like a hundred times more potent than it's like for elephant uh, opiate. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Man. I don't doubt you. Are, yeah, man. yeah. So I, it's basically it's for saying, cars, pretty right. much. Yeah. So if, if, if somebody on TLC sees my 600 pound life hurts their foot, they need carfentanil. They need carfentanil. <laughs> yeah, just like a dab will do. Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah. That makes me think of something. So we're moving into. Like virtual reality world now, right? Where yeah. Oculus Rift and all this stuff is becoming mainstream, right? Yeah. Never, it's already mainstream, but yeah. it's going to be accelerating. We should start a business or start buying the equipment that, uh, you know, because eventually what's going to happen here is there's going to be people who just die in their apartments that are like 8,000 pounds. Yeah, it's now the Wait. surrogate or whatever, Bruce Willis one, right? Where it's he's, probably a movie, yeah. yeah You're yeah, saying yeah, like something. they're going like, to get lost in the virtual reality so much. That they're never going to come out of their apartments. Oh, I see. Again. Yeah. I and see. they're just going to stay in their apartments. And, Which you know, is why you need to take your vitamin oh, D. This is why just, you need your vitamin D. Yeah. And then they're never going to come outside, and then one day they're just going to be dead. Yeah. And then, yeah. I don't know if they'll be big or not. Who knows? One that might be just... And to preserve yeah things. i'm looking for I'm, I'm i agree with you that's yeah. like a real thing it's definitely gonna happen. <laughs> gonna happen but i am totally looking forward to like when i can afford a nice vr headset All right dude vr load up some Pornhub, get out yeah. the flashlight dude yeah. and then yeah. you switch over to whatever and then back yeah to and then Pornhub. i go back to watching the history channel yeah, yeah. i don't know much I, re- what's that movie where he's with the bait and channel uh, well, idiocracy. Yeah, idiocracy is yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. Well, great it's like movie. a mix of idiocracy and Ready Player One. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's yeah, a great way to right. put it. Where we're yeah. headed, and I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm old fashioned. I don't think I could use a VR headset to because like everything's now like you, I had to get like a different device for mm. pornography because I have children, right? Because like you don't. Well, want, what do you use now? Just I well, I make sure I use just my phone or my something that my right. kids. Oh, have. you can't use like the computer. I don't use like the computer. That I mean, you don't need to. Phone's good. Well, yeah, exactly, hundred percent. Yeah, but like, I would never. My use... browser is just littered with porn. It's yeah. re- like that yeah. I just haven't closed yet, or like while <laughs> searching. Open. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucking ridiculous. But with the Oculus thing, I just I don't know, man. Like, I feel like no. it's, a, it's a definitely dangerous territory. It's dangerous because you get because like if you've been caught before, you get like some. There's a little bit of you can save face, mm-hmm. or it's just a quick ah. With yeah. Oculus Rift, right? You're gonna be having an experience. And someone's going to walk in. A sexual in. experience. Well, someone's going to be walking in on that experience. Yeah. And you're not going to know. They're like, who's there? They're, you're not going to know. That, that they're is there. that going to be sexual assault then maybe in a weird way? Could that Ooh, be like, you get what I mean? mean? Yeah, like, if you didn't lock the door. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Depends yeah. on how much money you have. And how yeah. Or you're just like, oh, I had my Oculus on. I didn't. You know, could even could, yeah, right. That could be a thing. Yeah. I don't know. It depends on how much people want your job probably. Sure. If you're Louis C.K. and uh, what's your name's right behind you? Who's the chick who took him down? Um, um, all of them, yeah. Of them. Was, was no, right? but there's Tig Notaro. Oh yeah, Tig Notaro. Oh, yeah, that was kind of a bit of a backstab. Yeah, she he produced her. Show. Yeah, she right. Produced, did a lot of work for her, and yeah. then she did that and didn't stand up for him and all this stuff, which is, in my opinion, is kind of horseshit. Because I mean, I, she's part of that side, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So kind of. I'm not. But no, I'm with I'm you. Devil's advocate. Yeah, 100%. I'm on neither side. I, uh, agreed. Well. She's yeah, definitely yeah. a part of that side. Tits, yeah. tits, no moral. Am I? <laughs> Jeez. What? She had cancer. Oh, no, uh, she did. Yeah, 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 no, I got, no, I got the I joke. Got the, I got the joke. <laughs> but, but she, 
I don't know. To me, yeah, that 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 to me is the comedy thing you kind of alluded to a minute ago, where comedians are coming after comedians because okay, like if you listen to Louis C.K.'s work, yeah, uh, yeah, like yeah. Uh, obviously he's probably a little weird or might be into some. Oh, stuff. sure, yeah, yeah, and like, no, but I don't think he can rent. I don't think he was trying to like say he did that in his art. Or maybe he was. I, I don't know. I don't think. I said it in a couple of different bits where he sure, talked about I, jacking off in front of a sure. retarded girl when he was a kid. I don't yeah, think he did that, though. He did do that. He did do that. He did yeah. do that. And then on ONA, he would talk about, like, all, of, like, doing DV, DV and shit like that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, um, I mean, and I believe he's an episode a, I believe of the show Louis where pervert, he's on Fox like News mentioned. defending masturbating and it's just Louis C.K. comedian <laughs> masturbator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he was kind of open about it. He was open. And that's, that's the thing that gets me is, like, okay, so say. I've been doing Dallas comedy for a few months or years, and I hear somebody's into cocaine. Yeah. And I'm they, into they, drugs. They invite you know, me back I'm to, their, to I'm an adult now. Yeah. Right? I'm 22, 23. I'm not 18. I'm not, yeah. I'm not 16. I'm a 23 year old person who's moved to New York to follow my dreams. Right. Yeah. To get into an industry which is, let's be honest, known yeah. for dregs and known for horrible stuff. Right. Yeah. Be as naive about it as you want. No, I mean, no, it's a bunch of degenerates. It's a bunch of degenerates. It's Hollywood light in a weird way. Exactly. Not as bad, but in a different way, they're bad. Well, yeah. I mean, as comedians, we're going to be much more extreme. Yeah. Uh, I would say, ultimately, most most comedy is coming from people trying to deal with their demons, uh, like like Louis C.K. was, talking yeah. about it, being open about it. Yeah. Like, this is weird. Like, well, you know. And, uh, I didn't realize that he was that open about the... Uh, go back and watch his Go shit, back man. and watch his stuff. No, no but that's plus. kind of in the art. So then you, it comes off as jokes and stuff. And well, that's yeah, still being open yes. about it. still being open about sure, it. Sure. I'm sure maybe he got a little more joy saying that and actually... But that yeah, but, but, you know, it goes back to what he did. Yeah. I mean, all the accusations. They're saying, like, Bill, did Bill Cosby talk about, like. No, Bill Cosby's a goddamn psycho. That's the thing. That's it's the, the comics animal. that seem the most, like, stable are yeah. the ones that are the most twisted. Sure. Yeah. Like, I've talked to, like, when I, I was in did, Chicago at the Laugh Factory, yeah. I'd hear stories about, like, you know, headliners coming in that we all, like, have heard of. They're, like, famous guys that seem very tame and, like, clean on stage that were the most lecherous Insane. towards the wait staff. Sure. But then you'd hear, I heard, I'd heard, like, Jim Norton, who's known to be, a, like, a deviant. Yeah. He, nice. They said guy. he was the most polite, yeah. cordial person to yeah. the wait staff and waiters. I think it's because you, you no, expunge he's, it. He's open about it. Yes. He gets it out there, and yes. there's nothing, like, On stage it. and, exactly. and, yeah, yeah. and on radio. And, yeah, you know. yeah. And he's not, yeah, he's not fulfilling some weird ego kick to do that stuff off stage. Yeah. yeah. Which I think, like, people like Cosby and that kind of, I think he did talk about power. Mindset. I want to say yeah, Cosby power, talked about man. Spanish flying a bit once, maybe, which is maybe that's, that's kind awesome. of alluding to, uh, you know. I just know the overarching, like, even if you get into, if, if you even get into Cosby, like how he called Eddie Murphy that time and told him to be, like, clean, and, like, how he had his dad mentality. Yeah. Like, I think that is something that develops sometimes in people who are really into some weird shit. Because like the mentor sure. mentality, the mentor mentality, not always, but you know, I think there. Yes, there's plenty of mentors out there who are doing it for the right. There's reasons. a pattern, yes, for sure. but there's and then definitely also the ones doing it the wrong reason. Yeah, there's yeah, definitely yeah. a pattern that people. You'll, like you'll hear about that in any. It goes. It cuts across all uh, fields of Feel, like yeah. profession. You'll hear about like yoga instructors yeah. or like yeah. school teachers and Bikram. That Bikram guy yeah. was kind of like that, right? Who yeah. Bikram, Bikram yoga? yoga. Yeah, he who? Was. yeah. The, the, the guy who like, started Beacon Oh, yoga. yes, yeah, yeah. He hot was like yoga, that. right? Isn't yeah, that what? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was hot, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Stretching the dudes, room, yeah, yeah. yeah. Downward doggy style. All these white yeah. women fucking showing up. and right. mm. Yeah, that is that is his weakness, too, you know. So, that's, so like, that's the American. A lot, a lot of yeah. men's weakness is the Where do you guys woman? think smoothies mm. came from, like, historically? Ooh, I, don't know. I was thinking about that the other day because I was like. Definitely California. No, but I mean, like, it's got to be, like, back in the tropics, like some tribe. Smoothies? No, because I'm thinking like they would have all the fruit there, yeah, and okay. so they would eat it like it separately, eat it. right? Yeah. Like they just make mouth smoothies, but do it, and then they maybe, like put it in a maybe. cup now and then. I like to think that a guy like Albert Blender or something showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he got to be a white guy? That's I don't know. <laughs> can't He's be like, can't be Franklin yeah. Jackson, <laughs> Caribbean yeah. or something. Yeah, Lapostrophe Armstrong showed There's up. There's some Indians the in Jamaica. <laughs> There's some. There, I think there are a lot of. I think there are a lot hey, of. Man, I got a motherfucking device. Gonna mix your fruit up. Yeah. Okay. And then he sold it to him. Look, you yeah. told me to diversify the bit. Sorry. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I did a little bit. I was going to say. Uh, nice save from your anti Semitism earlier. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Well, we're talking about black people now. I'm cool yeah. with them. Yeah. 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 I think whoa, so. whoa. Who are you yeah. not cool with? 
I, which one's I the, thought the Jews. I thought you said uh, I wasn't oh, cool oh, with the dude. Jews. He's not cool with the Jews. Uh, <laughs> You're just going to cut, edit that out. Yeah. That's going to be that's, fucking that's, 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 Jimmy the Greek over here. That's yeah. a splice rule. I'm damn date half a Jew. Yeah. That's the part I don't like, though. <laughs> 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 what was the other half? Uh, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> it was likable. Is yeah. that what you're saying? <laughs> sure. sure. Oh um, man, uh, we, I, don't I really like the Jews. Uh, you know, you I'm really not, fucked yourself over. No, man. go good. fuck yourself. No, I didn't. The Jews like me. I think. Can I say that? Can I speak for them? Yeah, sure. Thank you already you. have. Like, yeah, time. that's yeah, true. That's fine. I don't think they care. I don't know. But, but yeah, back I'm to Indian the, man. They got. They so got more thing, I just I think they just hogtied that dude because that was yeah. I watched for two years as that became was a rumor on different internet boards uh, before it ever like showed up. Right. I, on, I, on I a heard slow about news it. day. Yeah. And it's like, come on, man. Like, really? Like this? Like, dudes can't. A, a female can be as sexually. Whatever she wants to be, and it's we're all okay with that now. Yeah, we it's should. still like three fourths and a fourth, but yeah, yeah, the, it definitely shifted the other oh, way. Yeah, it shifted yeah, yeah, hard yeah. the other way. So yeah. if a dude can't, you know, it's the same thing. Like I have a daughter, like I'm going to talk to her, and I have already to an extent. Yeah, like if you go to a fraternity party, or if you go back to a hotel room with one guy, or even two or three guys, under any pretenses, you are. Setting yourself up for a possible issue. Yeah, that's there's right. some risk. Uh, there's yeah, some there's, risk involved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying that's. The and you're gonna have to play it off with this dude that if he's really good at manipulating but, people, yeah. he will come off as genuine. That's what we really should this, be teaching young girls is like per- yeah. perceptivity. Yeah, this they, happens with boy with boys and girls. I mean, the reverse way where a girl's like super, and then she's like. Really manipulative or crazy, yeah, or but that's whatever. different because they can't rape you. No, I agree with that. I'm not saying that, but I'm just they saying. Drunk enough, they can. I yes, guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, that, yeah, if they yeah, tie yeah, to yeah. a bed like Gerald's game and feed yeah. you Viagra and saltines for true. a week, and then you just fucking. I mean, saying it. saying no to a woman, you know, that's trying to fuck you is pretty. Uh, they do me. not take it well. No, it's hilarious. Yeah. Like, how many times? Only time I've ever been called homosexual. Yeah, yeah, no, they're allowed I'm, to I'm do sure. that. They if you don't, don't like, sometimes I'm just tired. I just want to have a burger, <laughs> watch the yeah. Sopranos, go to bed, yeah. and then they're like, they're like, oh, come on, let's fuck. I'm like, nah, I don't want yeah. to. And they're like, oh, you're fucking gay. I'm like, yeah, aren't you the one that's like going to that LGBT <laughs> rally next right. week? You're the one that's calling. You're, you're shaming not, me for something. Yeah, I'm not gay. I have the meat sweats and I'm full. Yeah, like, nice. I'm not gay. I've got nice. a clogged artery and I get half hard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fucking half mass dick. <laughs> yeah, that's a different thing. My sex drive's dead. You got like blood clots in your dick from the meat. No, nah, dude, I I I'm, I whacked off for many years, uh, way too much, and now like the nerve endings are all fucked up. I mean, for real? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, okay. I went to my doctor. Whatever you call it, a cock doctor. There's yeah, a fancy name for it. Yeah, sure I think it is one, cock man. doctor. Yeah, yeah, cock doctor, dude. There's no OBGYN. And they were like, they were like yeah, him. like they were they were like, yeah, you, you, how much do you masturbate? And I'm not even kidding. I was like five times a day. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, no, so but when I was younger, there would be some crazy times, yeah. but not that. Not like repetitively. Not for no 30 loop. days. No loop. Yeah. Dry. Well, I mean, now, well, I mean, if you were uh, uncircumcised, you'd be fine. Just wow. saying. Fuck you, dude. Okay. <laughs> being circumcised rocks. I think being you uncircumcised. You got a fucking turtleneck dick no, that when you come, no. it, it dribbles out like I didn't, the tear and didn't I didn't know you glory. were into piercings like that. <laughs> it just dribbles out into the little rubber part of your converse. Blip, sure. blip, blip. No, what? Yeah, no, you what have no t- ropes when you're you circumcised don't. or you're uncircumcised. What are no, you talking about? What? Because the, the thing comes out. Of, and then, yeah, it's yeah. a regular dick when you're fucking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Your penis looks like a dog. You just gotta, we just got to pull it back. It may be the worst case scenario. Yeah. I don't know. We had to circumcise my son. We didn't have to. But this was I get it. I'm, I'm I'm against two. No, two. I, I'm actually on your team on this one. Yeah, then, why on your cir- then why did you circumcise your kid? Social pressure. Okay, um, that's. A, <laughs> oh wait, your wife wanted you to. Well, no. I mean, okay, and here's why I think it was ultimately not. Uh, there's. I'm fine with either way. To I'm be fine honest. with either way. Yes. I think that number think one, it's a very sensitive. You should be thing. able. Yeah, no, it is. So, like, I do think there people has pierce to be, their junk. There like, has to be some yeah. correlation between. I don't think babies should be being getting it. circumcised and like being able to concentrate like in your teenage years. Maybe if that makes sense. Like if yeah. well, he circumcised and didn't, and well, I was sense. uncircumcised. Yeah. I mean, still am, and di- and I didn't. I don't think. I, I guess, think you're just it's fucking a loose horny. Association. Yeah, but what you know why? That's why they made Kellogg's, right? So that people would stop masturbating. No, I read about that. Yeah, yeah. the, the they, inventor they, they was they like a strict. Made like cornflakes. Yes. 
because it was like the third Travidian, what is it? Some some sort of Christian Victorian or some whatever sort of Christian you want to call it. Christian denomination in the old in the eighteen uh, oh, yes. 1800s. Yeah. Some guy <coughs> like they had this like Christian uh, group that like lived on this like uh, place Island or something. Yeah, and they were like, oh, we don't want people beaten off, so yeah. cornflakes. We need something bland. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and so Kellogg's. Like, if you ever, if they, they would tell like, have you ever had the urge to jerk I'll off? Just, eat some just eat some cornflakes yeah. and then like it works. It, yeah. Especially well, after jacking off, I don't want to jack off right. after eating more cornflakes. Yeah, so one guy, sleepy. one guy showed up. He's like, "Hey, you know how those cornflakes have been giving us to not jerk off?" Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, they work." He's like, "Yeah, it's good, right?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, I got something for you. Try beating off and then have it. Nice, <laughs> nice, or even no, better together. together, together, together. <laughs> Take a bite, bust, yes. chew, swallow. Yes, make sure you don't mix the milk with the semen. Right, and you can. <laughs> I don't know. I just when my son, because both all three of my kids slept well, well, other than my son, like my daughters, my youngest daughter slept fine at night. Slept in the night, never had any major issues. My the twins, one's a boy, one's a girl. My uh, the girl twin, she slept fine. Mm-hmm. My son, especially the first six months, every night was up screaming. Yeah, which. If you think about it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because of the circumcision. Because of the circumcision. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that was different was the circumcision. Uh-huh. Sure. The, the mothers were the same. You know, the circum- circumcision the still rock? Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, 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 it comes down to the thing is, yeah, I don't know. If it's no, and I get religions too and stuff, if that's yeah. what it is. And well, US, then, USA is like, mainly circumcised for the most part. Well, in fact, I think when it started. I'm kind of like a unicorn, to be honest. What's that? Nothing. I, I, I'm still pro-circumcision. I don't yeah. like... A penis Why? that looks like that sign you see in bad neighborhoods with the guy at the yeah, you know you can actually <laughs> re, you can reforce yeah. it. No, you just you bias because you're that. circumcised. I think I'm not gonna I don't get think foreskin reattached to my penis. You, yeah, no, you like right? rebuild it in a weird way. Yeah, because yeah. there's some people pissed off that they're heard of jelking. Um, uh, you heard of this? Yeah, uh, it's a new. It's the new craze. Yeah, what is it? Sweeping the web. So basically. It's guys that want to lengthen their penis, so they, they tie a rope to their penis and to put weights on it. Uh, yeah. And then if you really ever want a quick laugh, go on the Jelking subreddit on Reddit. And like, is it just pictures? <laughs> no, dude, it's, like, it's like people that like believe this. Yeah, yeah. And then it's not bad for you. And like the top, I just I went on randomly. I'm, top sure, po- I'm first sure it post works. The, first post that popped up was like, hey, so my, my urethra is bleeding. Is this normal? Yeah. And then the guy and everyone in the comments was like, yeah, totally normal. That's just, uh, you know. Stretching out. Just stretching out. Just keep yeah. it up. You know, do Te- two a days. Technically, it works, right? In the sense of like, but it's, you're stretching what isn't there. You know what I mean? I, I think it works to prove that you're a fucking it's psychopath. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very yeah. gullible. Yeah. No, also, also, that true. can't be good for like your pain. Just the, like, general, That's what I'm saying. You're, like, you're, fuck t- up you're tearing hard. or you can have like not as hard. Yeah, it's gonna Erections. fuck up the blood flow. It's not yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yes. gonna fuck up a lot yes. of things. Well, I mean, the internet's the only. But helps. it's gonna look bigger. It's gonna look that's, bigger. That's the yeah, important that's part. Yeah, I feel bad for people who believe in that. Like that's just not yeah. the truth. Yeah, it's messed. Otherwise, up. lesbians wouldn't exist. Like if it really was about, you know, size, size, like coming. Yeah. If it really was about that, I'm sure. This has know, been sure pointed out thousands of times, 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 but yeah. here's a hot take: lesbianism doesn't exist. Why? <laughs> because they're think about it this way, man. No, because something? yeah, they're just like. I don't know. Here's, here's I don't my know. take. Like, I've like, definitely met look, some the main, very the best argument I've heard for this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Women, yeah. if you're watching, I love you. This is all comedy. No, listen. <laughs> so all their sex toys. You're saying this to nobody. All these <laughs> lesbians. All these lesbians. <laughs> people. All these lesbian sex toys Thanks, are shaped right. like cocks. Yeah. So if they didn't like cock, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they yeah. get a vagina? No, I mean women. Ob- women sexual. have definitely objectified cocks. They won't objectify the whole body, but they've made. And I'm I'm pro yeah. toy. If I, like some I guys, they're pretty good at sure. objectifying themselves too. No, it's, it's uh, fair enough. You're right. No, yeah, no, they do that. <laughs> they do that pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I buy the lesbian. I don't know. No, but guys in sex toys is also like a stigma. You know, like if you're a guy and you have like a flashlight or something, then everyone's like, what a creep. But if you're a girl and you have like a dildo, everyone's like, oh, she's like. I think it has. I think it really comes down to how you own it. Sure. That's true. It's getting to that point. I agree. Up until now or the past five, ten years. Yeah. Well, now with VR and stuff, now we're getting into that zone where it is like all toys in a weird way. 100%. 100%. Yeah. And everybody, I think people were just talking about it more, which is, yeah. it's a good thing. Yeah. But that's not a bad thing because we shouldn't really like stigmatize anybody for, for sure. sexuality. I yeah, mean, yeah. The main thing. So, what about this? Is Unless your sexuality is 
that I mean, people. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, that's, I'm not saying stigmatized, but they're doing it to themselves and the or kink the, yeah. or whatever. Also, same thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, if you're doing it to yourself and it's consensual, whatever. Yeah. But um, so I, I read a thing, an article the other day it was interesting. Moving the age of sex work to 21 instead of being 18. I'm with that. Uh, right? Like, that's a good I didn't know it was 18. Uh, 18 year olds are still kids. It's 18. No. Well, we've, we've moved the age of I'm insurance. just saying they're not mature enough no, to make that, like, decisions. incredibly permanent True. life choice. Yeah. 21, at least you're like, I'll mull it over. Well, 21, you've been able to Well, it depends on the sex work, because if you're a exactly. hooker, no. Your sexuality yeah, a yeah. More. No, but it depends on the sex work, too, because if you're doing, like, porn, then, yeah, that's going to, unfortunately, stay with you forever. But what if about, you're just like, a just hooker, nude, nude pictures? Well, even cam girls yeah. is could possibly stick with you forever. Yes, no, I agree with that. Stuff. But being a hooker for, like, a weekend. I mean, those, those girls' pictures are on the internet forever. Like, Shiva's yeah. racist Jew comments earlier, they're yeah. forever, forever on the internet. I've got there. worse. I've got worse. On, you got worse? Yeah, technically. Yeah. How? Not on Jews, just on been mean to All society. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he has. I'm sure yeah. he has some horrible takes on white people. Actually, oh, yeah. I really do like white people. You guys are good. You guys are okay. You're not helping your cause. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think bringing it to 21 does. I want to be like a Bobby Jindal of Nazis. That's what I'm going for. That's the fucking. <laughs> Who the fuck's Bobby Jindal? You know the Louisiana, Louisiana Indian, Indian, Indian guy. He's pretty. He's like white. one of the first. Indian, He's Christian too, or uh, something. Yeah, which he's is one of the uh, first Indian. Uh, Popular American politician, right? Yeah. I guess kind of in Louisiana. I don't yeah. think he's a congressman. He ran for president. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not saying that's impressive. That's, he was a that's the opposite of that. He was a congressman. Did they address yeah. him by his Indian name in Congress? <laughs> Bob, Did they do that? That'd be awesome. It's Bobby. It was yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. he's like in a, he's like one of because you know Christians came to yeah. India and yeah, they yeah, made yeah. 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 So my Indian, I think my Indian name would be like well, swallowing he, pills. <laughs> different Indian. In, different Indian. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. All those pills. Yeah. yeah. That's but, actually my Indian name. Really? That's what Shiva means. Is it really? No, man. Sorry. <laughs> she was a god or whatever, yeah. and you know. God of destruction. Yeah. Oh, that's so fitting. Uh, it kind of is. It's especially really the heroin fitting. stuff too. And I have know. a real good the- theory that like what you're named really affects who you are. I think it can. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely can. In jail, my name was Chiva because that's Spanish that's for heroin. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I didn't have really a chance. I'm a brown boy. It's yeah. a brown boy. They call heroin brown boy. Your were looking for shitty Indian names yeah. on the website. I blame my parents. Completely. They were like, hey, which one Which one means She was super common in India, though. Yeah, she, yeah, was, she means, was gotta be. A, yeah, yeah she was like Bob in well, India. Oh, it is. Yeah. She was Bob in India? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's one of their main. Yeah, I don't know. What are they like seven guys? Yeah, well, there's seven. a lot. There's People a lot. think there's like millions, but it's like it's there's a lot. Or no, like that. Um, I should know, no, but no. there's a tri- There's three main ones, and then yeah, right. and some of them change. But she was the main one. Uh, yeah. I forget if it's Vishnu or Krishna is the main one. Then yeah. I'm not really Hindu. I'm godless. Yeah, you're, know, in America, you're in America. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah, I assimilated a little too much. Into I think the yeah, did heroin like white people fucking. They get you know, full experience. An yeah, no, and I've learned a lot from it. Yeah. And I'm I'm not spiritual, but you know, I'm not godless either. But like, yeah, I'm not god full. <laughs> if that's <laughs> that's yeah. a thing. that's a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. obviously a thing. Yeah, you're not going out and telling people how to live their lives. That's probably a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's or I just I'm encourage a, people to be better in right. those weird, in a nice, yeah, in a nice way. Yeah, yeah. It's a good sentiment. I'm I, I'm a Christian, but I don't bring it up on stage because it's. That drives me. And that's weird. No, that's weird. I find that that you're right about that. Yeah. You've seen with, me. I've read with my black Bible. crowds with black crowds, it's the you opposite. Being it. godless is like they don't like that as much. Yeah. Yeah. You get, uh, black crowds can shit on a lot of stuff a lot easier. Black yeah. crowds yell out. I've only funny done two. Stuff. They yell yeah. the black crowds will yell when they have it, they have a better punchline. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. Nice. What are you doing up there? You yeah, should be yeah. up here. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you're hidden in the masses though to think like, you know, on, right. on the spot. Right. You just see an ocean of teeth. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've said uh, Jesus so many times during this podcast. I can't. I don't even. You're going to become spiritual. What time is yeah, it? Yeah, right. Uh, it is 323. All right. Kids are about to be home, so. Let's wrap it we'll up. We'll wrap it up. Uh, this has been a conspiracy. Is that really podcast? what we're going to end on? The fucking <laughs> sea of. T- <laughs> is that really? No, no. What the fuck? I'm going to bring it back and let you close out on something else. I don't have anything to close out. Uh,. <laughs> Yeah, it's all just right. mic drop. I just slapped the fucking camera. If you, <laughs> like, ow. Uh, if you've been watching, thank you. Uh, Shiva Ari and yep. Nick Gowdy, both local comedians. You can find them, Barely. follow them. 
uh, online at their respective tags that are seen on the screen right there. Um, like I said, this has been Conspiracy City Podcast. Um, tune in again. I know that Shiva and Hank are going to be having some stuff coming up. Y'all have any shows, anything right now? We usually a backdoor. You know, and I'm going to start the, these days. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Also, don't tell. I'm going to you know talk to them or do that. No, I mean I'm supposed to do that, but yeah, yeah. I'll That'll say be something. do that, man. I am, I am, like, I, am, I, am. I don't know this yeah. COVID thing. But usually I'm at Backdoor every Friday, Saturday. You know, okay, cool. yeah. Backdoor is a great place to see comedy. Yeah. Wind is great. Uh, Hank? Um, catch me on Wednesdays at Hyenas. And, Actually, I feel uh, like I don't want to even represent them after this podcast. <laughs> Just, <laughs> <laughs> it's a clean comedy uh, club. You're not. It's the, the whole different, you know. Yeah, right. and I think yeah, Linda's yeah. mature enough to understand. No, she she likes me. Fascinated. I think she trusts me, and I'm uh, doing my best not to yeah, fuck it I, up for her. And I think she's done a good job at her, in my opinion, like her reason for being clean makes more sense. Yeah. Um, than some yeah, of the other yeah. people I've heard uh, yeah. or why they do it. But, yeah. uh, and and like, she does get away. It gets a little dark in there. So it's not like, yeah. yeah. I not, mean, I go up there telling people I'm a junk in my yeah. one, one weird whatever way I want to tell it that night. Yeah. It but, makes, you, yeah, yeah. makes you get better at trying to do things instead of just yell profanities. <laughs> yeah. And we that's kind of what you do. about 50% of open mics sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Not just more. saying that and, you know, yeah. just pushing the line all the way. Yeah, which yeah. is why I love you. You know, yeah. Now speaking of pushing yeah. the line, I would say if you want to follow, what was that look? I don't go and say saying the N word. N- n- <laughs> I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. No, I'm no, sure no. you have. You guys are both assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I cloak my racism in clever That's wit good. and satire. Yeah, <laughs> like a sea of teeth. <laughs> like good <laughs> phrase, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's a literary <laughs> phrase now. That's <laughs> now you can catch me at a uh, hyenas on Wednesdays at eight o'clock. You can catch me Sunday at One Nostalgia every week eight o'clock same time, and uh, also outside the abortion clinic with a sign. There you go. Yeah, nice. I don't know. Pro will, or four? We will close on Both. that. So nice. Thanks for watching. Oh, fucking hot. That one. About how long was that? I'll cut it. Obviously, and cut it. Where do these get released? Uh, this is obviously gonna put on my Facebook page. Sick. I haven't got things this. The other one, the one I'm doing for Tom and Marcus, I got a, a syndicate.